Hi Rashad from Resart here, just going to show you how to install the extinguisher mount and the extinguisher itself for the CT9A. We're using a GTA here as a sample, so you'll notice that there is not a Recaro seat, but that doesn't matter. The seat rails are identical and there won't be any difference at all in your installation, so just ignore that factor. What you do is you need to have a 10mm, 14 screwdriver, the mount and the fire extinguisher. <coughs> Remove the fire extinguisher out of the bracket. Put the fire extinguisher down for a second. Um, it basically has to sit like this with the the mount bolting into that bolt there. So what we need to do is first of all remove the 14 mil, the 14 mil nut that's cap nut that's holding it on. Try to get a slight understanding of how tight the bolt is when you put it back together, you don't need to tighten it any further. Um, mount the bracket on there just politely, just lightly, and get an understanding that of where that has to mount on the extinguisher so it's butted up against the, the floor here. Okay, so then what you do is push the bolts through the extinguisher bracket and then the mount. Sometimes a paint can hinder it from going through a little bit because there might be a couple of coats of thick paint on there but that should be fine just push it through or screw it in. There we go. Put the, the locks on both sides. I find that generally speaking that the extinguisher mount itself is pushed up as far as it possibly can on the mount towards the top of it. Just a test trial fit there which seems to be fitting fine. Then remove, get a 10 mil on the back of it and screw it in. Same thing for the other side. It does not have to be super tight. Most people have a tendency to over tighten things. You don't need to over tighten things. There's a loxin on the back of it, so you use the loxin. The loxin won't come undone unless it's specifically intended to and someone actually tries to remove it. What you might tend to do is find that you might, might get in the way lightly, so then you need to get confused and move you around a little bit, eh? Hope that was a bit of a journey for you. Can you see? Yeah, hopefully you can still see because I can't see the screen. From here on, it's a pretty straightforward process. You put the bolt back on. You'll feel when it hits the bottom. Just get that extra little bit of turn like I did before. Take the extinguisher out of the mount. 
slide it in and into the top bracket. Mount it up. I tend to turn the extinguisher around so that most of the writing is readable, well accessible, so you can read it. Doesn't look too horrific, but you can do as you choose. Clip it on and voila, it's all done.